Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. Today we're going to be talking about this topic up here, these four habits that wealthy people have. These are ones that we kind of touched on on the last video, but we'll go more in depth on them in this video. So Kirby, uh, start this one off. The first one that we got is wealthy people find ways to make it happen. Yeah, and they find ways to make it happen. And, and it's not just once they become wealthy, they find ways to make it happen. It's a, it's a mindset. Wealth leave clues. They leave clues. People that's really on that way to, to to wealth, even if they have a don't have a dollar right now, if you have friends, family members, associates, or anything, they always find ways to make it happen. Like, hey, they schedule was booked up, and then you call for something or something else need to happen. They find a way to maneuver to make it happen. That is a trait or a clue of somebody that's destined. Now, it's some other things that have to come in alignment with that mindset to get them there. You know, they need a little direction to see where they need to focus their energy or their go-get-them attitude uh, towards. But that is a clue. So if you have people like that that always find ways to make stuff happen, they have one of the initial uh, mindsets or um, what is that? Traits. They have one of the initial traits that will make, make them, that can make them very uh, successful or wealthy moving on in life if they just have that right direction. So that finding and always making stuff happen, like, like Alex, for instance, you have a busy schedule, I have a busy schedule. And then we we have to create these videos and stuff like this for this channel. And then we sit there and we'll be like, all right, we need X amount of videos this. And then we don't sit there and be like, Oh man, we, I'm so booked this time. We be like, all right, so we got to cut out time to make it happen, all the time, all the time. And I mean, I remember last week you had, you know, other obligations on the business side that you had to do, but we still was like, all right, if we meet at this location, we can get this stuff done here. We can get this content created. Then you could just peel off and then go to where you need to go to make your timelines and things like that. Right. So that's that's what people do. They always find ways to make it happen and not give excuses. I love what you got. Yeah, I mean, like, the one I remember, too, is, like, I remember we recorded one video. I was using my phone because I was out. Like, it was like, you know, you you always have to find a way to make, make it happen. What I like about this is when you develop that mentality and a habit of thinking that way, it's not just in business or work or anything. It's in life. Like, anything can happen. Anything can come up. I mean, you could be at a theme park with your family, something comes up, whatever. And you find a way to actually solve the problem. You know, it's like your your brain is starting, it starts to adapt to that kind of way of thinking. And you'll see that you can actually lead people with that mentality. But the next one is control the controllables. So I like this one because I think that fear, anxiety, worrying, all that stuff, it comes from not being in control of your situation. When you can learn mm -hmm. how to control your situation, you won't be afraid of anything, really. So this one's really important, learning how to control your situations and prepare yourself for all situations to be in control. I'll make this one to the one, you know, in the class that we have about, you know, selling selling options. It's controlled and controllable. You, me, the people that's viewing this video, we don't have enough capital to control the direction the stock is going to go. But what we can control as investors, we can control making money and cash flow off of cash secure puts. We can control collecting that dividend by just holding the stock. We can control putting on cover calls, making income on the cover call side. You can control what you can control. The, the things that can happen, acts of God, all the you know regulatory reform, everything that happens in the market, they're going to happen. You can't control them. But I'm not worried about the things that I can't control. I'm worried about the things that I can't control, like having a rental property. You can control if the, the maintenance is done on the property, if the property is habitable. Now, some things that you can't control and it's just unforeseen. You can do the background checks. You can do the uh, income checks. But if a tenant, like people will always say, but what if the tenant lose their job and they can't pay the rent? That's something I can't control. 
But what I can't control is to make sure that my property is presentable for if this tenant can't pay the rent once they move out, that it's ready for the next tenant. I'm not worried about the things that I can't control. If I can't control them, okay, that's between whatever happens and the powers to be that make that happen. But if you focus on the things that you can control and make sure they are efficient and, pro and productive to you, the uncontrollable things won't affect you as much. And like I said, this, the stock market, you can't control if, you know, the stock market, you know, going to a bear market and have a 20, 30, 40 percent crash. But what you can't control is saying, hey, OK, the market is down here. This gives me an opportunity. I'm taking all my money and putting it in the market because like Warren Buffett said, buy when it's blood in the streets. You can't control when the market is going to go back up. But, you know, if you keep plugging money away, when you get in a very attractive price in the stock market over the long term and the stock market has a 100 uh, percent recovery rate that you will make money. But if you don't put no money down in there when the times are hard, then you don't get the reward when it goes back up. So control the things that you can't control. Right. And the third one is buying time. So we touched on this one a little bit, but this is a big one. You always have to find time. Always. I mean, it doesn't matter what, if it's important enough to you, you will find the time, I, I believe. And it doesn't matter. I mean, there's been where I've attended, you know, whatever, birthdays, holidays, whatever, and Kirby wants to do something or whatever. Everything else is getting put on pause. I'm just, you have to find the time. What else is more important than accomplishing your goals? What else? I mean, it, I can't think of any. And if you can, if people can think of some, then I just think those are excuses. But you always have to find the time. There's always ways to do it, uh, like we mentioned. You know, if us doing these, these YouTube videos, recording from, you know, a non-normal location, you know, remotely or something like that, just uh, or going to look at rental properties. I mean, especially us, you know, we live in Florida. We're going up to Georgia. We find the time to go up to Georgia. You know, it's just something that you got to do. And um, Alex, you probably heard this saying before, but for people that's new to the channel, they haven't heard it. My motto, I think it's like number two on my list. If you're broke and fall asleep at night, I don't feel sorry for you. Because I remember when I was broke, I couldn't sleep at all. I mean, it was nerve wracking. It was worried about how I'm going to pay this bill, how I'm going to do that, how I'm going to do this. So I don't feel sorry for him because it's hours in the day. And then I always people are like, yeah, I don't have the money. I was like, did you sleep at night? Or they say, I don't have time. Did you sleep at night? Yeah, then they give me all this health benefit crap. I don't care about that. Let me go get the money first, and then I got enough money so I can worry about sleep later. But until then, I I can't sleep sitting here worried about, oh, am I going to get evicted? Is my life going to get cut off? And all that other stuff. I just don't feel sorry for them. Make it time. Uh, like, like I mentioned earlier that we have busy schedules. I look at deals every day. That's a mandate. So if my schedule's packed up and then it's, you know, running to one or two in the morning and I haven't got my, you know, 20 to 40 minutes of uh, MLS, MLS researching and looking for rental properties, I'm still going to do it. And I mean, now I have programs set up when as soon as I go lay down in bed, I look at I, I look at the MLS and then. I'll sleep for a couple hours, three or four hours, then I'll wake up and I'll check to see what's going on in China uh, on their stock market. Then I'll check to see what the future is looking like in the U.S. stock market. That's four hours later. And then I'll go back to sleep and then I'll wake up early and get back on the ground. But that, but I'm always going to find time to do it. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, well, i got to have three square meals a day, sit sit around the breakfast table and sing Kumbaya, get eight hours of sleep. Damn that. When you broke, damn that. Now, once you get some money in your pocket and that's what you decide to do, God bless you. I'm not where I want to be, so I'm going to keep keep pretending that I'm broke every day. Because that person who was broke and they wanted to get out of that situation got me to here. So I'm going to keep acting like I'm in that situation to get me to the next level. But I'm not sitting here uh, just saying, oh, I, I don't have time to do it, so I'm just going to take the day off. Ain't no days off. Ain't no days off. Sleep when you did. I don't. I don't care. But I was go ahead. Yeah, that one makes me laugh because I see people that will talk about like say Gary Vee and Jeff Bezos. are like, oh, but they they always talk about getting enough sleep. 
like, yeah, they're worth hundreds of millions and billions of dollars. <laughs> they can sleep, you know, but ask them how they started. You know, it's totally. They're, look at Elon Musk sleeping in a, taking turns sleeping on a couch in his office with his brother so they could build PayPal. You know, like there's sacrifices that you have to make. And that's and and the thing is that's what that, that's what kills me because I know we're pushing a little further. That's what kills me about the people that already made it. Then they want to start talking about all this this health and and all this BS. You wasn't doing it when you was on the grind trying to get there. No, exactly. You want you you brought up Elon Musk, Gary V. When Gary V was making a line library, he wasn't sleeping eight ten hours a night and then coming up waking line uh doing the line library 16, 18, 20 hours a day. Jeff Bezos, when he was creating Amazon in his garage, he wasn't sleeping 10, 12 hours a night. And he didn't even have no job. The only thing he was focused on is the journey. Then when you get there, yeah, you can do all that health. Oh, make sure you work out two hours a day, every day, go get it. Yeah, you can do all that. When you got the money, you got all your time back. You got time to do whatever the hell you want to. But until you get there, I ain't trying to hear none of that. Not a damn thing. But uh, number four, right quick, Alex, when we can get out of here, is they have a victor mentality. Yes. Yeah, that one I like. Uh, victor mentality in comparison with victim mentality. Uh, this mentality, you know, you're always looking to win. Uh, you're always looking to achieve more and strive. And this is funny because I'll bring up my mom in this one. Uh, she'll always tell me, hey, and I'm sure all moms do this, but, you know, like, oh, you got you to gotta take time to – just settle down. You have to have patience. You gotta, you can't want it all right now. And I just told her, I was like, mom, I was like, look at everything I have. I said, everything I have is because I wanted it right now. And I went for it. She was like, okay, but, uh, like, you know, she didn't really know what to say. And stuff like that. It just cracks me up, you know, but like, you have to have the mentality of wanting it, finding ways to get it. What steps do you need to take? Take those steps, take action and achieving it. And, Always look to win. Always, you know, whether it be by yourself or the group, whatever. Always have that vic victor mentality to achieve. And I'm correlate this one. Like, Alex, every time I call you about a real estate deal, I don't close on them. But I always tell you I'm going to close on them. I'll be like, yeah, I'll be like, don't worry about it. They're going to come to my price. They're going <laughs> to figure it out that I'm right. Because I'm always planning on, if I'm engaging, if I see a deal, I know the numbers are right. I believe that I'm going to get it. Now, do I get them all? Heck no. But I don't go in there like, oh, well, I lost this one. I'll, well, I'll, I'll throw this in there to lose. No. I'm going in there. I'm going to give them an offer and then educate them why I gave them an offer. And then hopefully I get, you know, a real estate agent or a business broker. And go, oh, yeah, that makes sense. You might want to sell it to them. And I mean, it, it works sometimes and it, and it fails, especially when, you know, real estate agents and brokers is trying to get the highest commission. But it works sometimes, don't. But I go in looking to close the deal. My wife always tells me, she'd be like, you been counting the properties before you even get them. Yeah. Because I'm just, I'm like, yeah, bring that to me. <laughs> and we go, we're about to win this one, baby. <laughs> you know, I'm like, Al Davis, win, baby, win. You know, that's 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 how I look at it. I don't go in there, you know, on a hope, wish, and a prayer. Nah, I'm going in there to take it. And if it don't work, that don't discourage me. Say, oh, well. I guess I guess I didn't get this one. Let me go sit in the corner and think about what. I, no, I just go back and get the next one. Go for the next one. Go for the next one. And then it works out. Sometimes it don't. But I'm not sitting there. I ain't gonna be the victim. I ain't gonna say, "Oh well, I ain't get the deal because I'm black and I ain't like black people." No, I ain't get the deal because they found some sucker that they could, that was willing to pay higher than I was willing to pay. That's the truth. Life goes on. Let's keep it. Right. Exactly. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, uh, share, uh, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.